Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Sundogs is this movie. I don't know, I found it last night when I watched uh, the Adam Sandler, the uh, week of or whatever, the week of. It was, check out my review on that. Uh, not in, not incredible, but uh, found this one to watch as well. So, um, a young man determined to be a military hero ends up on a misguided adventure with his family and new friend Tally which leads him to the most unlikely realization of how he can um, cur curiously save lives. So, or courageously save lives. Anyway, 6.3 on IMDb. 84% of the audience on Rotten Tomatoes want to see this. Nothing from their critics, so we're going to do it here first. So the reason, it, the reason I actually decided to click on it and maybe watch it was Jennifer Morrison, okay, Melissa Benoist, I think I say that right, Supergirl, um, Allison Jenny, who just won a um, Oscar, and O'Neill, right? Modern Family, you know, for the more modern people. Um, and Eric Christian Olsen, you'll recognize him. Exhibit. So there's a couple of good people in this, and uh, you know it's a, it's above a six on IMDb. So we'll see what it's like. Check it out. It's about patriotism and enthusiasm and stuff like that. But I'll I'll get into it a little bit more and tell you more about what it really is truly about and we'll see if it's any good. Stick around. Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick check in here. We're watching Sun Dogs. We're at the 37 minute 53 second mark. So not too much has gone on, but I got a better idea about the plot. Um, <clears throat> so this uh, Ned Chipley, this, the guy who wanted to be a soldier, seems to have some kind of medical issue. You see a scar on his head, but they haven't explained what that issue is. Um, and um, so it, it, he, he acts strange, but he's got a settlement from it, so he makes a lot of money, but he really wants to join the Marines. Uh, his parents are Allison Jenny um, and Ed O'Neill, um, and they, they seem to understand this, but it seems like every so often, not maybe every day, but every week, he takes a bus into San Diego. So he lives in California somewhere, but not in San Diego, to the Marines' office to try and get them to enlist him into the Marines, but they never will. Um, and the one part that stood out to me, like, he, you know, he's training himself, he's getting himself ready, and while he doesn't seem normal, they're not letting him join the Marines. I don't know why. But then Exhibit is the Chief Master Sergeant of that unit or whatever, and instead of, you know, telling him no or whatever, he tells him, hey, you need to be vigilant on the home front, and he makes him a sun dog. Um, it's kind of almost like mocking him. I think you know he kind of says, "Hey, you got." He gave him a deck of playing cards, and he goes, "These are the 52 biggest terrorists we know. Keep your eye out for them," kind of thing. You know, it's almost mockery. So I didn't like that part too much. Um, and it was interesting. The, the actor who's playing this guy, um, when I saw it, I was like, "Well, he doesn't seem much like a soldier." I want to get his name here. You know, he doesn't seem much like a shoulder to me. soldier. It is. Michael or A N G A R N O. Um, I've seen him before. Not like a soldier, but I get it because he's got that weird vibe to him that he brings brings through in the character and some of his other uh, movies that he's in. But Melissa Benoist seems to play a prostitute. Um, so um, she's uh, at, is in a casino that he works in. He's a janitor. And she seems to be trying to hook up with some people in there. And um, now they've just had their running, <clears throat> and it seems like they're going to build a relationship and, and start being friends. So, interesting so far. Didn't like that part, um, what Exhibit did to him there. But maybe, maybe it'll all work out in the end, and we'll see where it goes from here. Um, but now you have a better idea of what's going on in the movie. And stick around, I'll tell you if anything else interesting happens, or I'll see you at the credits and tell you what I thought. Alright, see ya. Hey everybody. We're at the credits of Sundogs, or as much as credits as you can see on Netflix before it starts the next film for you, um, as I mention all the time. So, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. I told you what Exhibit did to this kid, um, who obviously has mental issues. Um, you know, he still can function in society, but evidently something happened when he was born, and, and um, you know, he has some, some um, you know, mental handicaps. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, so that that piece happens, and then you know he pairs up with uh, Melissa Benoist um, after um, 
um, exhibit tells him to go on and, and defend the United States at the home front and look for these guys who are on decks of cards. So he teams up with her, and she's believing he is really part of the Marines now, um, and that he's the way he is because of what happened during the war that he was in previously. And although he never really says that, she just assumes all this and creates this facade of their relationship and um, everything that he's doing. So, you know, it's going to come to a head at some point and, and what's going to happen after that. So, you're kind of depressing in that point and, and you know, she um, doesn't take that news very well and, and says some things that you don't ever want to hear. Um, so that was a little disappointing in that. Uh, I don't know, tough movie to judge on this because of that piece of it. Uh, I get the understanding that, you know, everybody needs a purpose, and, and that's what this is really about. His purpose was about saving lives, but his, uh, his stepdad, in a sense, and um, Ed O'Neill, um, he doesn't have a purpose anymore. His mother doesn't have a purpose. That's all. That's what it's really all about. The movie is about finding individuals' purposes, um, which, you know, they kind of all do at some point. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on. Uh, you understand what it's about. Um, I don't think there's much more to share. It, was, it wasn't anything exciting. I'm probably going to give it a, a five or a six. So, I don't know. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, it depends on the type of movie that you're in. This one's a little, not emotional, but not, not uplifting either. All right. That's it. That's all I got for you. Sorry if I rambled on too much. Thanks for tuning in. Kim was Irish Pub.